How much money do you need to start arbitrage and plus EV betting? This is a question I get asked very commonly. And like most things on this channel, I can explain the answer to this question mathematically. But I have to break it to you first, arbitrage and plus EV betting can be a little bit of a grind. It's not as simple as putting a few dollars on a 10 leg multi that your friend says is a guaranteed and hoping that it goes and wins. I'm not going to beat around the bush, so I'll just give you guys the answer straight away. Theoretically, you can start off with as little as $100 or even a $50 bankroll if you just want to learn. In fact, for those completely new to arbitrage or plus EV betting, I actually recommend you just start off with a very small amount. However, practically, I would recommend you start off with at least $1,000 or if possible, $2,000 as your starting bankroll, which is actually what I recommend for my sports betting course. Any more than that, and it's probably not necessary. I'll explain in detail the logic behind this number in a little bit, but the main idea of it is to try to just maximize the expected value or return in net profits that you can potentially make. Let's see how we can learn with a small starting bankroll first. You might actually have no idea what a bet even is or how to place a bet. So instead of sizing up right away, let's start off small and because you probably don't know what you are doing, start off with like just $1 bets and you can see what kind of things will happen. If you make a mistake such as you bet on the wrong market or bet on the opposite outcome instead, then there's no biggie. The maximum you're risking is just $1. Worst case scenario, let's say you make 50 of these mistakes in a row, which really shouldn't happen. But even with that, you've only really lost just $50. So let's take a look at an arbitrage opportunity and see how much money we can make with just a betting a single dollar. To demonstrate, I'm using OddsJam, which is a great arbitrage and plus EV calculator software for those in the United States, which gets the odds straight from all the different bookies out there and finds the arbitrage and positive expected value opportunities. I can confidently recommend OddsJam to anyone who is residing in the US and is keen to start off with their betting journeys. To get 25% off your first month, you can either use the link in the description down below or in the card somewhere up here and enter in the code SHANE25 to be able to get 25% off for your first month. So this is an example of an arbitrage on their site. So let's take a look at this example on Atlanta Braves, this is Pittsburgh Pirates. It's a baseball bank game with an arbitrage opportunity on Zach Thompson um, number of strikeouts. Can be over 3.5 or under 3.5. We can cover all the outcomes in this match. So let's see if we put $1 on each of them. So if we bet $1 on over 3.5 on the first bookmaker with the odds of 116, then if it wins, we make $2.16 back. We would also need to cover the other outcome to get the arbitrage opportunity. We would bet a dollar and three cents. It's being recommended. And if that wins, we make two dollars and sixteen cents, but lose the dollar. So either way, we've deployed two dollars and three cents. We're guaranteed to get two dollars and sixteen cents back. So we get an overall profit of 13 cents. And that is a 6.08% um, profit on turnover as shown here in this percent icon. So that was for a $1 bet. Now let's say we could do $10 instead of the $1 bet we had initially. Well, we're not making only 13 cents now, we're making $1.31 with a total stake of 10 times what we had before. If we put 100, then we make a $13 guaranteed profit. If we put 200, then we make a guaranteed profit of 26. If we put 500, we get a guaranteed profit of 65. We will need to deploy $1,014 and so on. So we can see the more we're betting, the more expected profit that we can expect to make. And we can see for New York, these are all the arbitrage opportunities out there. Some are very good, 5% or 6%, but generally they're around close to 1.9% or sometimes a bit higher than 2%. And new ones will come in each day. Some of these might, the bookies might change their pricing and disappear, but you can generally find a lot of these opportunities for at least 2%. So this is a great way to wrap your head around the mathematics and play around with things with just a small dollar amount of cash. Now, personally, I wouldn't recommend putting more than $500 ever on a single bet. Bookies can play very dirty if your bet is too big. They could potentially not let your bet go through and say it's pending or just cancel your bet. Or even worse, they could even restrict your account 
and that's going to cost you a lot more in potential profits in the long run. So you don't want to be betting too small as you're going to be making less than the electricity actually takes to run your computer. But you don't want to be betting too much either. So around 100 to maybe $500 is probably the sweet spot. If you're able to find a few of these opportunities each day, which is very likely, then your $2,000 in bankroll is more than sufficient to cover all of it. Now we can see the percentage edge for arbitrage is generally not that high. If we have an edge of 2% on average and we deploy our entire 2K each day, then our expected profit, or in this case, it's actually guaranteed and risk-free, then we're still only going to be making $40 of profit each day. 2% might not sound like a lot, but it's 2% each day, not 2% per year like most savings accounts out there. But still, what if we want to make more? We could go with the plus EV method, but it does become a little bit more complicated as there's a bit more risk and mathematical calculations that become involved. Luckily, there is something called the Kelly Criterion, which helps us to calculate exactly how much we should be betting on every positive EV opportunity that we find. It calculates the percentage of our bankroll to bet based on maximizing the expected returns we are want to be getting, but also minimizing the risk that we will end up being bankrupt if we bet too much of our bankroll each time. Luckily, this is also built into Odds Jam, so let's go through an example. So the first thing I have to do is set my bankroll. So if I go to my profile, if I go to bet settings, I will see a starting bankroll. Let's say I have $2,000 and I just keep it simple and set my Kelly multiplier to one. So now instead of the arbitrage section, we can go to betting tools and go to the positive EV tab. Now you can see the percentage or expected return or edge we have is a lot higher now. We're no longer making about 2% on average. We can get opportunities all the way up to 19% and there's a plenty of opportunities above 5% and around 10%. So let's take a look at this calculator. I have my Kelly multiplier set to one and this is the bet that is positive expected value with a 19.7% edge. It's recommending me to bet $145.89 or 7.29% of my bankroll. This means if I'm betting $145.89, then my expected returns in the long run are 145.89 times 19.7%, which is close to about $30 for this positive EV bet. If I go to this one, I can see it's recommending me to bet less because the opportunity is not as good and the odds are higher. So it's only recommending me to bet $114.80. And therefore my expected return on this one is 114 times 11.49% or around $12. It also has a neat feature of just straight up adding this to the bet tracker if you want to do the bet, which you can track over here on your bet tracker bets. So the key takeaway is if my betting bankroll was less, then each time I would be needing to bet less to minimize the risk of a significant damage to my bankroll. And so because I'm betting less, I would expect to make less in the long run. Now let's say we deploy our 2k bankroll each day, this time on positive EV opportunities, which has an edge of generally, let's say 7%. Then our expected profit is 2000 times 7. And that gives us a expected return, um, not guaranteed this time of $140 per day. This is a lot better now. And as we make more money, so we make $500 in our first week, then we can update our bankroll to 2,500. And this will allow us to slowly size up our bets more and more as we make more and more. $1,000, $2,000 is just the amount you will need to get your expected potential profits up to the amount where you can justify spending the roughly one hour or so each day finding and placing these bets. Another reason I recommend $2,000 is that to arbitrage successfully, or even find positive EV opportunities, which might not always appear on the same bookie, you will need to have multiple bookie accounts open and have funds across all of them so you can jump on an opportunity when it arises. Which means you can't just have a few hundred dollars sitting in one bookie and that's it. Very commonly, bookies might tempt new customers or even existing customers with deposit match offers, like this one here from Ladbrokes. So if you only have $50, you're not going to be able to capture the offer in its entirety. And you'll be missing out on an extra $50 of free money. Odds Jam has a detailed list of all the bookies offering these special deposit matches in the United States. So you can just make some free money right away just by depositing. Once again, you can check out Odds Jam in the link in the description below, 
or in the card that should appear somewhere here. And you can get 25% off your first month by entering in Shane25 in checkout. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to give it a big like down below and subscribe to this channel to not miss out on my other sports betting content and money making tips that I have lined up for you guys. As always, take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.